Good afternoon. My name is Ronald Wheeler. And at one point in my life, I was employed as a correction officer at Augusta State Medical Prison. Now, part of my duties as a correction officer was, of course, to make rounds throughout the cells to make sure everything was okay and that nothing was happening. One particular day, I was in one of the trouble dorms, one of the dorms that caused a lot of the trouble, and I went in to make my rounds. Now, in prison, you got to be on your toes. You have to understand that something can happen at any time. As I was walking through the dorm, I noticed a tension. You could tell that it was tense and that something was happening. So, of course, I'm on my toes. I'm ready for anything. And I'm making my rounds. As I walk, an inmate comes up to me and says, and whispers in my ear, it's about to go down. Those were his words. Him saying that was telling me that something was about to happen and that I needed to leave or get some backup. Now, as I turned to leave, because I didn't want to get trapped in whatever was going to happen, I was getting ready to call my backup when I noticed a group of inmates walking toward another inmate, and I kind of figured, hey, whatever was happening, it was happening now. So, as I make my way toward the door, because I didn't want to involve myself in the situation without backup, an inmate pushes me against the wall, and he stands in front of me. Another inmate stands on the other side. And as they, what I thought were going to attempt to attack me, they were actually protecting me. Because when it happened, an inmate was attacked. He was stabbed 16, 17 times, and everybody dispersed. And when everybody dispersed, they let me off the water, allowed me to go tend to the inmate and walk out of the cell. All of this happened in a matter of about 30 seconds. Now, what I didn't understand at first was why did they pin me against the cell, against the wall? They pinned me against the wall to protect me because what I come to find out that the inmates liked me because I respected them as humans. I didn't treat them bad. I didn't talk down to them. So with that, they protected me because if something like that happened, officers have been hurt. They've been stabbed. They've been hit from behind while they were trying to handle the situation. Now, as the inmate lay bleeding on the floor, I go tend to him. I see that he's stabbed and he's in bad trouble. So I pull him out and I call for my backup. Now, of course, everybody has disappeared. Everybody has gone to their cell. So this was a planned attack, and I knew it, and there was absolutely nothing I could do about it. So I tend to the inmate, and I call for my backup. As we go back into the cell, the inmates hadn't cleaned the blood. They hadn't got rid of the weapon. So we had to search the entire dorm to find a knife that the stabbing occurred. Actually, in actuality, it was three or four knives. And they stabbed the inmate a total of 16 times. But the inmate never lost consciousness. And what happened with him, he wound up having a lung collapse. And he went to the hospital, but he did survive. After further investigation, we come to find out that all of this happened for a cigarette. This man got stabbed, almost lost his life for a cigarette. Now, I learned from that the value of human life and how it can be taken from you so quickly. And the value of treating people no matter what their situation are with respect. The only reason that I wasn't injured in that whole ordeal was because the inmates respected me because I respected them. So if you take anything from this speech at all, know that you treat people the way you want to be treated and they'll do the same to you. Thank you for your time.